During development of an embedded application, firmware crashes can and probably will happen. Usually, the execution suddenly ends up in a hard fault handler. Then what? This is where Segger's Ozone debugger comes in. On the Cortex-M architecture, Ozone helps users to quickly analyze and find software bugs that cause CPU faults. Not only does Ozone enable automatic detection of when a fault happens, but it also provides further tools and information for analysis of why a crash happened, what could have caused it, and what happened before the crash. First, let's take a look at the four categories of Cortex-M faults. Hard fault is the default exception, raised on any error which is not associated with another enabled exception. The mem manage exception is available with the use of a memory protection unit or MPU to raise an exception on memory access violations. The bus fault exception is raised on any memory access error, for example by an illegal read, write or vector catch. When bus fault is not enabled, a hard fault exception is raised instead. The usage fault exception is raised on execution errors. Unaligned access on load store multiple instructions are always caught. Exceptions on other unaligned access, as well as division by zero, can additionally be enabled in the SCB. When usage fault is not enabled, a hard fault exception is raised instead. In order to detect exceptions, Ozone makes use of the vector catches on ARM devices. In addition to regular breakpoints, ARM devices can break execution on fetch of an exception vector just before the exception handler is executed. This feature enables automatic break on exception without the use of hardware breakpoints. With a vector catch on hard fault, a system crash can be immediately detected and further analyzed in the debugger. In Ozone, vector catches can be enabled or disabled in the breakpoints window. On any exception, the exception handler as read from the vector table is called, just like it is done on interrupts. Exception handling is usually done differently during development and in production firmware. When errors happen during firmware development, developers usually want to analyze what went wrong to resolve the error. The Cortex-M Nested Vectored Interrupt Controller, or NVIC, provides various registers to analyze the reasons of a crash. Additionally, in most cases, the call stack and the register contents of where the crash happened can be restored. A debugger like Segger Ozone can provide special features to help with the analysis. In this case, no special exception handler needs to be added to the code. The debugger simply breaks on a vector catch or breakpoint and does the analysis. Exceptions might also occur in released firmware and should be caught. Some exceptions might not be caused by an error. For example, executing a breakpoint instruction when no debugger is connected causes a hard fault. From these exceptions, the firmware can simply return and continue program execution. The system might also want to recover from certain cases, which are errors, but not a crash. In the exception handler, the error reason can be analyzed and recover the system from the error, for example by terminating the task which caused the error. In the case of a crash, the system can recover by simply resetting it. In more advanced scenarios, a crash dump could be generated before the reset to be sent or saved on reboot. On a system crash, ARM Cortex-M microcontrollers provide information about the crash in different registers. Manually gathering all information to get the reason for the crash can be cumbersome. When Ozone detects a fault, it automatically analyzes the related registers and presents a pop-up with the reason for the crash and further information such as where the crash happened or which address could not be accessed. Once the reason for a crash is detected, the next step is to identify where it happened. In addition to the fault status registers, Ozone provides all regular debug information windows even in exception state. The call stack window shows where the exception has been raised. With the registers window and the locals window, the faulty state can then be inspected. Bus fault exceptions might be raised later than the illegal access, usually a few instructions later. In these cases, Ozone's instruction trace can help to identify which instructions have been executed before. This concludes an introduction to Cortex-M faults. Thanks for watching.